on searching for the heart I cannot find. No matter how long I'm going, I feel there's only one I'm like. So maybe I'll keep on pushing myself back into the light. Cause I need her love, I need all her love. We had a river that was rolling, but then the waves came crashing down. Maybe I was too controlling, but I was nearly about to drown. Well, come on, forgive me, baby, cause I need you now. I need all your love. I need all your love. Come back, come back. Hey guys, welcome back to the videos. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kit. I'm very excited we're going to the Masai Mara. I've never been to the Masai Mara. This is my first time courtesy of Intrepid Travel. I'm so excited. We're going to camp in the Mara. Now, the Masai Mara National Reserve was established in 1961. I didn't even know it was that old, to be honest. And the word Mara means spotted in the local Maasai dialect. They are saying uh, it's spotted because of how many acacia trees are there and how many animals are there so the land looks like it was spotted which is so nice eh? <laughs> so i'm very excited let's go on this journey together takuwa niki angalia maisha yenu kwa barabara kwa hivyo msikie mko safe na mkiwa na swali yoyote kuhusu hii track mnaweza niuliza and i hope mtakuwa sawa sawa na muta enjoy trip Na tukue pamoja wote na tufurahie. Si ndio? Karibu So guys, right now we are at viewpoint, which is kind of a ritual for everyone who's going, you know, to Naivasha, who's going to Masai Mara, Nakuru, it's a ritual. Uh, so you get to see the Rift Valley, which is very beautiful. So I want to introduce you guys to a very important, amazing woman. She's been our driver and so far the drive has been amazing. Yes, I said she. She. Let me introduce you to her because it's amazing that she's the only female driver for these trucks in East and Central Africa. That's so exciting. That's amazing. And also something additional about the trucks, you can hire them as a company, as an individual, if you need them, just reach out to Interpid. We will leave all the details about Hi. them right down in the description. So let's go meet her. Hi, my name is Becky, or Mama Overland, as they call me. I work for Interpid, and uh, I'm the only female Overland driver in East and Central Africa. And uh, I'm happy to be part of the safaris and tours that we make in East Africa. Uh, being one of those women who are in the empowerment and interested being uh, sensitive on gender. So I'm glad I'm part of it. How has it been so far? It has been marvelous, wonderful. So been I wonderful. Yes. <laughs> You've been driving us very well. I can say that it's thank been a very smooth ride so far. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for driving us. <laughs> As you can see, guys, Intrepid Travel is really about women empowerment, which is fantastic. I really appreciate that. So we'll also meet other females who are part of the team and they'll, you know, tell us all about the work that they do. So, yeah, let's continue with the trip. I know that you see it so The effect you have on me 
I know you still feel it so All the constant memories So tell me this isn't true You and I were meant to be I'll never do wrong to you Cause now I know just what you need So come back, come back I need you like before place called Barcelona we've come here to set up and eat lunch and I'm so excited I'm so I'm so hungry so let's have lunch and then we can head to the National Reserve game drive was absolutely amazing i've never seen so many animals at the entrance of a park the wildebeest are so many i've never seen so many wildebeest in my life it was very <laughs> very interesting and fun and you can notice that they smoke around the smoke is for the rangers have set up the smoke they're burning the grass to help the grass grow better and to keep away some pests and some things apparently i hope i got that right so right now we're about to set up camp but let me just show you how the grounds look like and then we can go for supper but i'm so happy there's hot water this hot water showers i know that's the main thing for going to be wondering how do the bathrooms look like how do the tents look like don't worry i'm going to show you guys everything The tents are already put up and this is our humble abode in the wood. We are given mattresses but we also carried our sleeping bags and things to cover ourselves because Mara can get really cold. 
I went to an extra step and actually got my hot water bottles. <laughs> I packed my hot water bottles. I'm not getting cold, okay? We're here with Miss Ventura. Hi. <laughs> so, um, yesterday the stuff was actually amazing. I had mashed potatoes, chicken, and some kale, some skumawiki. But there was also ugali, there was rice. Like the food has been amazing. Today we've had um, a mini, like a mini breakfast before we go for the game drive. So I've had some eggs, a sandwich. Um, some potatoes, but there was also tea, bread, porridge. There was so, so much, so much. Anyway, so right now we are about to go for the game drive, and I'm excited. I can't wait to see. Hopefully, I see all the big five. I'm very excited, guys. I'm so excited. Made it clear what I feel for you when you say that we move too fast. Switching up your attitude, making love till you take it back. Pull me close, then you pull away. Masai Mara is big. You know, I'm comparing it to Nairobi National Park and Amboseli, and <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. We've not seen any cats, unfortunately, but hopefully, we'll be able to see as the day goes by. So, right now, let's both have lunch. I've been looking forward to this lunch. It's actually pretty good. The food is really good. Considering the cost of the trip, it's really. It's really nice. It's worth it. No. Yeah, we have somebody. It's yeah. value for your money. Eh? <laughs> it really is. We've been enjoying ourselves. So after lunch, we are going to go to a Maasai village, which I'm excited about because this village is not like any other village. It's headed by a woman who saves girls who have been, you know, led into early marriage. But more about that later. So let's eat and then let's head up.
Kiss the lullaby straight till the morning Oh, how we keep it going This love is only moments, girl And you know I'm carrying the world So just fuck me like the side boy Save me from all of the pain and the drama I'm playing whisper down the lane with my problems Hoping somebody gonna solve them and so I lose myself in labor. Guys, I can't believe it. We've seen a coalition of cheaters. I've just found out that a group of cheaters is called a coalition of cheaters. That's interesting. And we also saw a couple, you know, a lion, the lioness doing the thing, being amazing. Like, I'm so happy. Sorry, guys, I got a bit distracted. Distracted again. There's another overland truck that was passing and it was kind of noisy but that's so interesting also he like was researching so you know a group of jaguars is called a shadow <laughs> a group of flamingos is called a stand of flamingos what is that and a group of giraffes is called a tower of giraffes wow wow <laughs> anyway guys so we're leaving the park but masai mara is amazing so many so many, so many, so many animals. You'll see so many animals here. Anyway, guys, we're going to the village and I'm excited for that too. So far, this trip is Time to cry when the day is filled. Time to cry. But when the lights turn low and there's no one here, can I shed a tear? Can you lullaby me? Oh, so baby, can you love I really want that la 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 ba So love my body Love my body guys we've reached at the campsite it's an echo campsite right i thought that was a pig but it's a nini being opened <laughs> it's a, like a tent being opened so we're about to set up and relax honestly <laughs> i'm so tired but this campsite is actually really nice it's so nice it's so well maintained i love it i love it and i love the thing about the toilet where you have to indicate how you indicate that somebody's in it's very nice i'll show you guys that so huh? let's set up relax eat and sleep <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. so guys this is the entrance to the ladies uh, toilet and it's very interesting there is a string there is this string with a goat bell to represent women the men have the cow bell it's this tiny thing so if you're inside you put it here instead of coming somebody knocking or somebody asking if there's somebody inside when they see this they should know somebody is inside the toilet how cool is that very efficient i love that <laughs> 
So this is the men. Like I was saying, the belts are different. This is a cow belt. It's bigger. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> but this is the men's side also. Just do that. Time to cry when the day is filled Time to cry But when the lights turn low And there's no one here Can I shed a tear? Can you lullaby me? So baby, can you love me? I really want that la 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 So love my body, love oh, so my body. Can you love my body? Ooh, so baby, can you love? Yeah, I really want that la 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 Yeah. morning guys it is the final day i had a very good night's sleep although this area was colder than the way it was in the mara i think it's because there aren't many trees so the wind is huh? the wind is doing its thing so today um like i had said there's a village we're supposed to visit we're visiting today that's headed by a woman who helps other girls we know have been introduced to early marriage so i'm really excited for that i told you intrapid is all about women empowerment and i think that's fantastic so right now we're actually having breakfast it's a lot of meat but uh they before the trip starts they always ask if you have any special dietary needs so if you're vegan or vegetarian they will cater to you so don't don't worry don't worry yeah but we are ready we're ready for the day <laughs> I'm 
Mangara. The women who are living here, uh, this village is purposely for the widows. But today is Sunday, you see we have a church here. Yes. So some have gone to the church, we've divided ourselves, and some have left here so you can meet them. So, uh, and this is how the setup of the village look like. Here is a, a cow's pen, and behind there is a goat and sheep pen, okay? And in Maasai culture, it's the women who build the houses. It's a taboo for Maasai man to climb on top of the roof. And we build our houses with the four stuff, sticks or strong posts, cow dung, ashes from fire, and soil. And then we mix with water and you make like a duff. And you can see, and for it to be smooth like this, you have to apply like four layers. And the reason why we use cow dung and ashes from fire, they act as a cement or insect preservative. And if you want to know a lazy Maasai woman, you can look at uh, how the house looks like. So, and this is mine, you can see I'm lazy, I'm somehow lazy. Look at that one there. Very smooth. And men are polygamists, they can marry as many wives as you can, as long as you have many livestock. So the wealthy of Maasai tribe is measured with the, the cows, sheep and goats, and the children you have. And mostly if you have many girls, you are also rich because you trade them with the cows in terms of dowry. Okay? And I started a project because uh, I'm a victim of FGM and I was also traded with the cows, three cows. And I started a movement of saying, don't exchange girls for cows, give them education. And uh, I have a, a rescue center about uh, 13 kilometers from here. And we have this small school there, you saw. It's a feeder school to the bigger school. And what I'm doing here, because uh, the, the community are trading girls with the cows. So me, I'm trading girls with the water. So they bring the cows to drink water, and then if you want your cows to drink water, you, you have to bring two girls to school. This is the, the, the bedroom for children, and we sleep on cow skin. That's why the cow is very valuable, because it gives the mattress, it gives food, because we take blood from the cow without killing, from the jangwa vein, and also milk. And the main food of the Maasai tribe is milk uh, and meat. We don't have a Maasai who is a vegetarian. We all eat meat. It's the room for calves, baby cow, more sleep here. When you go to bed, we separate with the mother and then we lock like this for protection and also in the morning for, we get milk. And then we have another bedroom here for small sheep and goat. Because we also milk sheep and goat. And goat milk is very healthy. That's the, the, the room for the wife, maybe, because I told you men are polygamists. Mm -hmm. Wife number one, mm. sleep in this, this is her house, maybe wife number two, another house. You don't stay together, but when the husband marry a newly, maybe husband has four wives, he marry a fifth wife who is young, he will come and stay with the first wife until mm. she gets used and then she, they will help her to build the, her house and then she can move. A man has five wives, he marry a, a sixth wife. Mm. She can stay either with the first wife or the second wife until she gets used and then also we, we start making her, her, her own house. So then the she other can wife move. help the new wife to make a house? Yes. And this is the, the kitchen pantry, this is the fireplace. Uh, and then this, this is a bed for husband and we sleep on cow skin. And it's also a, a, a seat you can, men can sit, it's unisex. You can sit on it, like a seat, just sofa. Men can sit on it, women can sit, but that, 
That bed there, only the women can sit. My name is Helen Mkuraya, and uh, I'm a teacher by profession, but uh, I resigned. I was employed by the Kenya government as a primary school teacher, and I resigned. And I started a movement of helping the girls, and I'm the founder and director of a school by the name Engiteng Leper School, which is situated at Majimoto. And I have a feeder school of it here at Tepeswa. And apart from that, I also empower young Maasai women, and you can see they are here. And this is the village they are staying. They do beadworks and they sell, you can see, to tourists when they come here or to the locals, so that they can get uh, something to feed themselves, to sustain their life. And uh, when I go back to school, why I started my movement, it's because I'm also a victim of FGM. And uh, that's why I started my movement. And uh, here, the community trade girls with the cows in terms of dowry. So I started my movement of saying, don't exchange girls for cows, give them education. Because I believe education is the only weapon, weapon to change the world, as Nelson Mandela said. So, and that's what I do. I, Rescue young girls from female genital mutilation and early marriage. And I have the school, as I have mentioned, Engiteng Leper School. It's about 13 kilometers away from here. So that's what I do. That's amazing. Isn't she amazing? She's so amazing. <laughs> no, I'm amazing. just trying. <laughs> you are doing amazing. Yeah. That's an amazing initiative. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> As I'm <to> <laughs> Guys, we have come to the end of our trip. I'm so sad, but I have really enjoyed myself. I have learned a lot and I've had a, such an amazing, amazing experience. I can't even explain it to you guys. So when I'm closing off the vlog, we're actually still in the village. The lady, Helen, she's amazing. She really is amazing and what she's doing. We all need to find a way to help, you know, our people in a way, our female. We need to help each other. I know people are like, oh, there's so many feminists, oh, Sijinini, but women do really go through a lot and really need to help each other out. So the trip, everything costed 14,000 Kenya shillings. Can you imagine? We had food, we had transport, we had tents with mattresses. The only thing we needed to carry was a reusable water bottle and a sleeping bag for you to use in the tents. Like, it's been an amazing trip. That's the only thing we needed and to bring our bodies. <laughs> We also need to bring our bodies and you know personal effects um i have nothing more to say i'm just amazed and i'm happy thank you so much intrepid for sponsoring this video and for helping us experience this all of us all of us have experienced this recently. so guys i will catch you on the next video make sure to like share and subscribe bye